Whoa, we're back. What's up, Chicken? This is your boy Chicken back once again with another reaction video. This time we're continuing Tattle Tales. Tattle Tales 6 9 album reaction. And uh, yeah, so we're on track 12, man. We got two more tracks to go. We're gonna knock them both out here in this final part. Trying to summarize our overall thoughts at the end too of the entire album. But um, yeah, we got GTL and we got Ava. Seems like both songs are solo songs, which could have those surprise appearances, you never know. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to checking these things out, man. So far, so good, man. The album's pretty good, man. Not too many duds on the album, so let's see if we can keep the momentum going, man. These final two tracks to close it strong. And uh, yeah, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you're new to the channel your first time stopping by, you're like, what? What? You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video, and let's dive into this final part of this 6 9 6 9 6 9 6 9 <laughs> Tattletales album review, man. Uh, slash reaction. And this is GTL. Let's rock. Oh, this is a prepaid debit call from... To accept this call, press zero. Is GTL supposed to stand for something? If GTL stands for something, let me know in the comment section. I might find out in the course of the song. But I know 6 9 has a, a habit of simplifying his, his titles to his uh, album, his, his track, his songs, and stuff like that. So it could mean nothing, but it could definitely have a meaning. So, um, yeah, nothing that I can think of on top of my head. So, anyways, yeah, let me know in the comment section below. Hold on, it's a locked up joint again. All right, hold on. But it sounds like he's he's he was doing it um from inside the cell. You know what I'm saying? Like he's on the phone, like calling through the phone, doing it. Well, man, sis, not to record this for him. Yeah, if he if he recorded this from behind bars, bro, that's lit. Yo, I like the rawness of this. I like the rawness of it. Obviously, you know what I mean? You got auto-tune in there and all that kind of stuff, but I still like the rawness of it with the, the static and, and all like the kind of like, you know what I mean? The imperfections of it, you know what I mean? I like that. And also, you know what I mean? It makes it, it draws me more into it. It reminds me of some of my early days making early, like music early on and all that. And it's like, like it, it, like you can connect to that emotion a little bit more, man. Okay, I'm digging this, man. That's pretty cool, man. That's pretty cool to throw this on the album, man. My niggas, my niggas, these ain't my niggas, yo. If this nigga wrote this behind bars, bro. Yo, hold on. <laughs> If he wrote this behind bars, bro, I mean, that shows you that he was focused, he was determined, he knew what he wanted, man, the whole time, man, and that's, you know, like, it's admirable. <laughs> Shit, that's, I don't know, that's dope. <laughs> Ain't nothing you could tell me about the life I chose. I was facing 47, you were sitting at home. Oh, listen, this man got a story to tell too. I thought you were ride or die. I was that that thing that changed your life, man. But you showed that you had something else in mind, man. It's like those guys, man. Six Nine and his whole crew, man, were riding on top of the mountain, man. They could have kept riding the fucking horse to the top together, man. But just 
like the power, man, like having power, having money, having like just being like the man, being the man, being that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like that drive, that just destroyed them, man, from the inside out, man. Just destroyed them, man. Jealousy, hatred, fucking lust for power destroyed what could have been a very powerful entity in music, man. If these guys would have fucking had their mind in a different place besides the fucking streets. They could have been a fucking huge staple in, in music, yo, if they would have moved away from that fucking bullshit and focused more on the hits. 6 9 got this man, like, whether, you know what I'm saying, like, you get a credit to him, give a credit to them, no matter what, man, they were in a good position, man. But the power is too much. We gotta have the power. We gotta run shit. And that's why everything just fucking crumbled down to the ground, man. And that's how all empires fall, man. Most empires fall from within, man. How can you not feel that, man? How can you not feel that, yo? The emotion in that, it's like, yo, I should give me goosebumps thinking about it, man. These dudes trying to kill me. Like, they, they was going to kill me, bro. They was literally trying to kill me, man. But, yo, pretty dope, pretty dope. Yeah. Wait a minute, bro. how much time I got to record this? All right, give me that. I know I can't keep loving you. I know I can't keep trusting you. Ah, ah, man. Thank you for using GTL. GTL, thanks for using GTL. Okay, I guess that was a service they used to, to make the call. All right, man, I like that. I like that, man. I'm glad they included that version on this album. Uh, I feel like they could have just put that as the, the final track, really. Um, to end it, but we'll see what this one's gonna do. But uh, yeah, I like that they included that. Uh, definitely show some raw emotion in there. You can hear that raw emotion in there. Uh, but I'm also glad they did the uh, the original too. Uh, I mean, not the original. They did the uh, part two to uh, locked up as well because the uh, part two, you know what I mean? Like, I, I obviously it was more clear, and you still can hear that same like kind of emotion from Six Nine. It was just in a different way. Uh, but yeah, I enjoyed this one, man. I'm gonna give it a rating, man. I'm gonna rate that a four out of five, man. Um, really nice, man. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, it wasn't perfect, obviously. You know, I had a lot of imperfections and the sound quality and all that. But that is not, I mean, that's not really why I'm taking away anything from it, man. I, th I, th it was, I thought it was really nice, man. I just enjoyed it. I thought it was cool. Good, good addition to the album. Nice piece to the puzzle. All right, we're going to dive into Ava next. The final song on the album, man. Final track here on Tattletales, man. So, so far, man, this this is pretty, pretty solid, man. Pretty solid album, man. All right, Ava, let's go. You're liking the instruments. All right, matching that emotional tone, you know what I mean? We just left off with, with GTL, but yeah, I like the, I'm, I'm digging the, the guitar strings coming in and yeah it definitely has that somber kind of tone that matches this. okay all right oh my god ronnie all right hold on ah once again man hit me with the beautiful sonics man i'm enjoying what six nines done on this album with the sonics and it looks like we're going to close out the album with another banger. Very short song, once again, two minutes long. Two minutes, five seconds. But, uh, yo, starting off nice, man, with the Sonics. His voice is sounding really nice here. And, uh, yeah, man, I'm digging the beat a lot. Yeah, it's a nice way. It feels like it's going to be a nice way to end this. 
Um, but even though I feel like GTL probably could end it as well, but okay, let's try, keep going. <laughs> Everybody, you know what I mean, gotta watch who you link with, man. Everybody gotta watch who's around you, you know what I mean? Just like my girl Snow said, I wanna know if you're gonna be there when it really counts. But yeah, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, keep your circle tight. But uh, yo, I'm, I'm enjoying this, man. All right. I can't give everybody to drive. And if a nigga run up on me, you know somebody gonna drive. If a nigga run up on me, you know somebody body gonna drop. Ain't no love in the street, so I gotta keep it on me. You know how I rock. Now I'm like, I'm pretty sure some people gonna be like, well, Six Nine's not a gangster. He can't have a gun. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yes, he can. <laughs> and he, he can have security that has guns as well. You know what I mean? So yeah, don't even go there. Only gangsta got guns or something? What? No, no, show no love to nobody, no, no. Niggas wanna take what's mine, no, no. Niggas want my life, I can't go. No. Niggas wanna take what's mine, no, no. Niggas want my life, I can't go. <sighs> yeah, I like 6ix9ine, man. I, I, I admire him so much because it's like he's going against all the rules, you know? He goes against the rules, man, and. I just like that he just doesn't back down. He doesn't seem to have fear, man. And that's like super inspirational. Super inspirational, man. Like not to let other people fucking bully you or fucking make you fucking back down or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I'm pretty sure that's why a lot of people connect to 6 9 because they feel like he's that dude that's just standing up to bullies. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? That shit. Do something stupid. <laughs> yeah, all right, man. Anyway, this is a nice vibe, though. I take my no no. Niggas want my life, I can't go. No, I gotta stay with a black and gold. Rest so good, set my neck on froze. Hey, you wanna get that no no no? That shit clack clack is gon' blow. Cadillac BP, moving like a BP. I ain't in DC, life ain't easy for a nigga like me. Gotta stay icy, niggas so spicy, cause they don't like me. But I know, nigga like me, gotta keep God close. Niggas still slot in the D, I blow. I'm sorry, I'm just vibing out to this joint, man. This is lit. This is a good one, man. This is a real good one. Nice way to finish off the album. I'm enjoying it. That's good. I want no child. Gotta watch who I link where I can give everybody to drop. And if a nigga run up on me, you know somebody gonna drop. Ain't no love in the street. Gotta keep it with me. Niggas know how I rock. How I rock. Ain't no love in the street. Gotta keep it on me. Cause you know how I rock. All right, man. All right, guys. That was Ava from Six Nine. Tattletales, official album, man, from Six Nine, guys. I just finished listening to the entire Tattletales album, man. But first, I'm gonna give Ava a rating, man. I'm gonna rate that at 4.5 out of 5, man. Super dope song. I enjoyed that one a lot. Um, yeah, man. Overall, man, this is a good album. This is a really, really good album. I enjoyed this album, man. I vibed out to so much of the songs. I mean, it got me crunk, it got me emotional, you know what I'm saying? You know, I just, really nice, man, really nice. Some standouts, man. I mean, Locked Up Part 2, like, starting off like that, with the emotion and the vocals and stuff like that, Akon did his thing on there. Uh, classic beat, you know what I mean? Great way to start this, start this album off. And then you got Tutu, which, you know what I mean? I only heard the song a few times now, but... I really like the song, man. It's like one of those stunting kind of songs, man. But I really like it. Uh, I thought that was a nice follow-up. And then Gooba, and then Wait, you know what I'm saying? Like, Gooba is hot. It's fire. Flames. Wait was super fire. Uh, Charlie kind of went eh for me a little bit. Dropped down for me. Trolls is a solid song. Nikki kind of carried it. She did a thing on it. 
Um, Nene was dope. That was super fire. Punani was okay. Kind of like, you know what I mean? Didn't, I felt like he didn't do too much with it, but when I was listening to the album, it really, like, it just... It fit well in, in where it was placed. I like where it was placed. It, it fit really well between Nene and Yaya. Yaya hit nice. Uh, Le Leah with Akon. Uh, the hook in that one was super fire. Gotta with Lil Act was meh. That one didn't do it too, too much for me. It was okay. Uh, GTL was nice, man. I really liked that one. And Ava was dope as well. So, I mean, you, you, I went through every track. And only two, like... Two real duds on the album, maybe if you count Trolls, but Trolls is, is still lit. Trolls is still lit. So, uh, only two real duds on the album. That's Charlie featuring Smiles and uh, Gata with Lil Ack. Everything else was pretty lit, man. You know what I mean? Pretty solid, pretty good. Anyways, uh, so, overall, man, if I was to rate this album on a scale of 1 to 5, or 0 to 5, <laughs> I would rate this a... A 4.5 out of 5. Pretty solid album, man. Pretty good album. I mean, yeah, I would be in that 4 to 4.5 range for me. Maybe even, you know, it's, it's close, man. 4.75, something like that. Like, it's it's pretty good album. Uh, but, yeah, for the sake of argument, I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. Super dope album. 6 9 did this thing, man. Uh, I hope people give it a chance. I mean, 6 9 does numbers, so I know uh, a lot of people will listen to this album anyways. But, uh, yeah, for all the, the 6 9 haters out there, man, I hope you guys give it a chance to, or at least watch my reaction and, uh, you know, see what you thought about the songs. And uh, if you did like it, maybe go check it out yourself and go ahead and, you know what I'm saying, listen to the album and see what you thought. So, anyways, like I said, I liked it. I liked it, man. So, this was fun. I enjoyed this. Nice album, man. We got to do Nas next, man. We got to do that King's Disease, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to hear that joint, man, because Nas, man. I love me some Nas, man. One of my favorite rappers. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Before I dip out of here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this experience. Uh, take on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I post new content. And, uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being so amazing. Thank you for being one of the many beautiful, amazing Greatest people on the planet. Yeah. I appreciate you. And I love you. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Winky. See ya.